After days of delays and intense negotiations, buses carrying thousands of refugees make their way to a rebel-held area in Syria's northwestern Idlib province. Traveling with them are fighters from Jabhat Fatah al-Sham, formerly known as the Al-Qaeda-linked Nusra Group, and their families. The large-scale evacuation follows the six-day Hezbollah-led offensive in Lebanon's Jerud Arsal area that ended late last week. Jabhat Fatah al-Sham had been in the Baroness Mountain region for years, staging attacks against Hezbollah, the Syrian army, the Lebanese military, and other armed groups, including ISIL. Their defeat and agreement to leave is a major step towards Hezbollah's goal of clearing a final area along the border between Lebanon and Syria of opposition groups. The position of the Lebanese government is to protect the Lebanese and the refugee camps on our soil. Hezbollah wanted to carry out this operation, and they did. In a way, the operation accomplished something, but the bulk of what the Lebanese army is doing today is important to us. The Lebanese government is here to protect all borders and not allowing anyone, whether it is Nusra, ISIL, or any other extremist group, to enter the Lebanese territories. And this is what the Lebanese army is doing. Still, the evacuation is being criticized. The UN's refugee agency, which works closely with many of Lebanon's one and a half million refugees, says it has had no contact with the thousands of Syrian refugees who apparently agreed to return back to Syria and has raised concerns about their safety when they arrive in rebel-held Idlib province. The Syrian army and Hezbollah are celebrating the deal, which also included the release of a number of their fighters. Both are backed by Iran and battle against groups opposed to the rule of President Bashar al-Assad. The attempts to clear Jerud Arsal is their largest joint effort aimed at pushing opposition groups from out of the border area. The battle to secure Lebanon's border isn't over. ISIL maintains a significant presence here, and many believe that another offensive, this time led by the Lebanese army, could start within weeks. If successful, it would mean the long border between Lebanon and Syria would be entirely secure and would mean a major victory over ISIL, all of which is far from certain. Impia's time, Al Jazeera, Al Qa on the Lebanese-Syrian border.